The discounted cash flow model is a technique used to determine the intrinsic value of a stock. Theoretically, the value of a stock is the present value of all the future cash flows that it can generate for shareholders. Therefore, this valuation method aims to estimate the future cash flows that a business will generate over its remaining life, and then it discounts them back to today's present value. Once an estimate of fair value is derived from the model, it is then compared to the current price of the stock, with the difference in prices showing the potential risk or opportunity present. To generate an estimate for fair value, the model projects what the free cash flows are likely to be in the future using the current free cash flows and assumptions of what the growth rates will be. Our preferred model is called a two-stage DCF. This directly estimates the free cash flow for the next 10 years using analyst estimates. We use analyst estimates of cash flows going forward for the next 10 years for the first stage, and the second stage assumes the company will grow at a stable rate into perpetuity. These cash flows are then discounted to a present value using an appropriate interest rate. It should be noted that the growth rates used are simply assumptions, and as these estimates change from analysts, so too will the value. Therefore, the price generated by the model is also only an estimate. You can see what the growth rates are by clicking on the data button below the chart. Now, depending on the business model or data availability, our Simply Wall Street DCF will use different methods of a DCF valuation. We prioritize a two-stage DCF for most companies, but for certain industries or companies with limited data, we might use a different model, such as the ones you can see on screen here. In the chart we can see here, we display current price of the stock as the top bar and compare it to the estimate of fair value, which is the bottom bar. We do two snowflake checks based on this section. Firstly, if the stock's current price is below the estimate of fair value, it will pass the first check and one point will be added to this company's valuation snowflake score. If the stock's current price is also more than 20% below the fair value estimate, then it will pass the second check as well as the first and add a second score to the valuation part of the snowflake. You can see this visually by the yellow and green areas on the chart. If the current stock price is above the estimate of fair value, however, it will fail both of these checks and no points will be added to the valuation snowflake score for this section. To view the calculation of how the fair value estimate was actually reached, you can click the data button and see every input that went into the model, as well as the walkthrough of how the calculation was actually completed. A key thing to keep in mind here is that every investor will have different opinions of the future, and therefore valuation, especially DCF models, are very subjective. Estimated growth rates and discount rates can vary widely among investors based on their assumptions of the future, and these DCF models will therefore deliver very different estimates of fair value based on the inputs and assumptions used. As a result, it's important to remember this chart is not a buy or sell recommendation. It is simply an illustrative model to help investors like yourself understand not only what a fair value for this stock could be, but how you might actually get there. It should be used in conjunction with the other value checks to get a more broad understanding.